All right, guys. Um, just wanted to cover two topics. Uh, first one is somebody who's asked about a Discord group. So I've now created one. Um, I've got to admit, let me see. It's going to be a bit basic. I don't really use Discord too much, but I've now got a channel there. Um, we'll cover this as a group thing. Um, I'll share the link below. Um, and to be fair, it's a community thing. Um, I know I do a lot of these videos, but you've got to bear in mind, I also, I'm busy with work and trying to develop other stuff. Um, that's how I managed to afford and do the stuff I have done. Um, so this is a community thing. I'll help where I can. Um, but it'd be good to get a few people on board and actually evolve that because I do think it's important. I do think it's, um, especially in the world we're in today, I was actually reading an article this morning where it seems that the UK is actually admitting the great resignations occurred here. Um, over a million people have changed jobs since September for three months, you know, three months up to September. That's a massive change. Um, and I, I fully understand it because I feel the frustrations and I, I see the way some people get treated and whatever, and I fully get it. Um, because perspectives have changed. But anyway, that was the first thing I want to talk about. So look below. If you're interested, join up the Discord channel. There'll be a separate one for the Philippines, one for Spain, one for personal development, uh, a general one which covers pretty much everything else, and anything else anybody wants, you want to break out into a separate group. I mean, it could be... Uh, books on personal development. I don't know what you guys want. You have to tell me. Um, the other thing I want to talk about today is how tra travel is a key element of what changed my perspective. Because for me, I lived abroad until 1989. My parents were ex-military, so I, I traveled a lot. Um, the perspectives of people were like more of a group function, where I find in general society, there's too many people self-orientated. Um, it was a big change in 1989, from used to function as a group to look after yourself. Um, don't like it. <laughs> um, which sort of gets me onto the point of when you go down these routes of start travel, you start to realise um, there's a lot more out there. It's a bit like um, people that have gone down the route of nomadic working, working away from home. Um, you can often bump into some really useful, interesting um, and like-minded people. Where I am in La Mata, we seem to be growing a community there. Um, and I'm, yes, I will say I'm to blame for a lot of it, <laughs> because I am. Um, because when I look at the area, if you're a digital nomad or whatever, the opportunities are there. You can get places, places dirt cheap, you can get as much as you want to spend. You know, there's properties there, in, not far from my place, 400,000 to over, well, Cabaroy, a couple of million. So there's something for all budgets. Um, I mean, you get a little bungalow, one bedroom or a studio, it's virtually nothing, cost-wise. But, Infrastructure's good, super fast internet, um, two airports, the whole of Europe on your doorstep. That's what my selling point was on there. When I first got there, don't get me wrong, internet was not super fast. <laughs> it was just there, barely. Um, but I find the country is set up more for um, what they call autonomo, which is self employees as well. Um, there are some ways of adjusting your tax levels um, a lot of people simply just exist and don't really exist in the systems um, now I'm not advised nor disagreeing with that one um, but I'm just saying there's a lot of people do it um, and have done for a long long time I mean I've got um, I'm not going to mention names but a friend did it for over 18 years so you know you will get people say oh eventually the tax man will catch up with you Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe you've moved from Spain to the Philippines by then. Or somewhere else. This is the thing I want to promote more than anything. The reason for not doing stuff is what you hear all day long. Um, 
what I understood with traveling is it's as broad as you'd want to take it. You can go, I've been to the Philippines, went to Cebu, and you stayed in the main cities. You went to Manila. Ta-da! You've done some city living. Um, but you could go provincial. You could go miles out. I mean, on these, some of these very remote islands and have a completely different perspective from somebody who went to Manila for two weeks. Um, and I've met a few people that have lived in the middle of nowhere. Um, a very simple life and enjoyed it. And I get it. You know, I... That's the thing, if financially you can generate enough income that some of it's self-generating, which is possible, don't get me wrong. I mean, I was just seeing my, um, one of the investment things, I'm not even gonna mention them today. Um, they were saying, oh, I'll send you, send you a newsletter update. Um, basically, we do business loans, and our business loans are basically frozen, so our money's sat in the account. Um, I can get the money out, don't get me wrong. When I say it, I can't invest it. Because the government loan scheme has basically been lending money. <laughs> so, so it's going, yeah, yeah, your your funds are still sat here. Um, but because of the government loan scheme, won't be able to lend your money out. Why do I want to know that I've made no money on that? Um, but the, what I was trying to get to is when those things are normally functioning, they generate cash every year. And you can be out in the middle of nowhere as long as somebody doesn't hack your account and steal all your money. Um, every time you go into the city, you, you can draw off your interest. Um, so I do get it. And some of the guys I know have done some interesting stuff, um, like um, cigars. They take cigars from the Philippines to South Korea and sell them there. Good business idea. Point being is, when you do this stuff, you, your thought patterns are different because you're not looking at got to clock in to work, got to be there for nine, got to do this today. Your thought patterns is, I need to make money. I need to be self-sufficient. I need to look after myself. You know, you're more focused. You're more thinking about how to get, get by and move forward. Now, not everybody does it. Um, I'm not going to knock anybody today. Um, I've been trying to avoid doing that for a period of time, but there was a friend of mine brought me somebody a while back. Um, I did sort of discuss that I believe we were wasting our time trying to help the individual. Um, but I gave everybody the benefit of the doubt, and then they fell straight back into what I expected after sorting them out and helping them along the way, and just thought, okay, well, you know, we helped. But the point being is, not everybody can do it. And it's not um, somebody's better than somebody else. It's more a fact is, you've got to open yourself up to actually realizing you're not in holiday mode. You're out there to travel, you're out there to experience, you're out there to do something. Um, that's why you'll find some people have done quite well um, in life through their experiences. Um, I can't remember the guy's name because it's, it's, it's Pierre, whatever his name is, the chef. If you look at his basic history and how he got from A to B and what he's doing now, you'll have to look up his name. He's, um, but his perspective had changed around Michelin stars because Michelin stars is about retaining a certain standard and whatever. It's not about infusion. And it's not about innovation or um, and you look at what he's doing now you'll understand um, he did a talk at um, Oxford I'll find the link I'll put it below but the point being is his perspective went back to why he got into becoming a chef in the first place because this is the thing once you've actually experienced it it's very hard to go back because you've opened Pandora's box you're literally, um, your day-to-day -day life may be on the grind and your perspective is based on that. Once you start going out and experiencing different parts of the world, uh, different cultures, different people, different ways of working, you understand that not all perspectives are the same. You, the way 
even myself would think about something in Malaysia would not match the same person who's doing it in front of me. It's a completely different mindset, different perspectives, different reasoning. And I've seen it so many times, whether it's in Asia, the Middle East, etc. But the key to it is actually understanding there is more than one perspective and there's more than way, one way of thinking. There's many a thing that in the Philippines astounded me. It just didn't seem logical um, initially. But once you take logic and perspective together and then say, so why do you do it that way? And it may be logical to the person that's uh, doing it. And some of the stuff would be bizarre. Um, I'll give you an example. Somebody took the spare wheel, the jack, and um, the spare fuel can out the back of the car, back of a car, not my car, uh, to save weight. And then the guy that actually owned it was down in the city and he got a puncture. <laughs> so he wasn't the best pleased that he had to phone somebody to bring a tire. Now, the guy that did it took all the stuff out his his whole perspective was it was to save fuel by dropping the weight because time is not as precious as money or fuel so you having to walk a mile to go and get another tire or fix that tire that's fine that's fine it's cheaper um so the perspective is very different um where often in a western mindset you are the time, you know, in the sense of your time is money. Um, so everything is important around you doing something as quick as possible. Once you start understanding that that's not always relevant in every country, in the fact that you order car parts and can wait three months for it, and you want it done today, and you're going, why does it take so long? And it's like, well, it just does. And that's the sort of response you get. But you start to rein it in a bit because you start to realize the world doesn't revolve around you <laughs> and and the point is nothing mattered you know the world didn't end nothing um imploded nothing uh, became a major issue unless you let it so i mean i had it before where my car was off the road for months i just was assuming well, okay well i'll get fixed when it gets fixed not even getting into the, well, I want it done now or anything like that because I'm wasting my time. And it's not giving up, it's just the reality. You're in the middle of a country that has a lot of problems with corruption, um, a lot of the parts are um, scrap um, and hard to source, a lot of stuff comes from Japan or whatever with major import issues. There's multiple, multiple reasons of why it's so difficult. Um, and you're not going to fix them. So the point being is your perspective changes. You, you know, I still see people getting irate, um, even at work. And I look at it and think, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I do find people's egos get more bruised, um, bizarrely. Um, I found out in the Philippines, the wealthier they were, the more precious they were about their egos. Um, but it's all about mindset. You change your perspective by traveling, experiencing, meeting up with people that are digital nomads. If you're not one already, um, you start to develop a complete way, of, completely different way of thinking. Um, like I said, I've pulled the pin now. I'm going to start looking at evolving things now that the house is in full play. But Discord group, please join it. Become an active member. So to suggestions. Don't, what I don't want is people just sitting there waiting for me to do everything. Just come in and say, right, can we have a group about this? And I'll, I'll, you know, and you can take bits over. I'm not. This isn't a dictatorship. This is a joint thing. But anyway, guys, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, but be aware, if you do start on this journey and you start the traveling piece, it'll be very hard going back to your normal day to day. Really odd because you've seen different things, um, experienced different ways, managed on different budgets. Um, but the upside of all of that is you realize you can unhinge and 
do it all over again in a different place maybe thanks for watching